distribution now, then there has to be. The staff at Around the Wildlife Park are unsure when these little guys will be available for the product to see. Your products. That's like an innovative product that's going to be a lot of Speed, strategy and brutality. Sounds like men's rugby league. But these are also the components for women's roller derby. Libby Dallison went along to the dead end derby, the sport's big season ender. Pronounced derby, not derby. This sport's from Texas. Blood, bruises and broken bones is all a part of it. There's action and there's excitement and there's speed and there's strategy and there's brutality. Um, and the girls love it and we love it. On the track, you're either a jammer whose job is to score or a defender. If you're a defender, you're either a blocker or a pivot. Got that? You also need to know you play in bouts and have to have a cool name like the Filthy Habits, Carnage Academy or the Salbrock Brawlers. Fishnets, hot pants and attitude. And the crowds like it. The fledging sport is already selling out Cal Stadium. Bit nervous. Oh, yeah, half and half. Yeah. Excited, nervous. Yeah. What are you expecting? Very hard hits. Yeah, Carnage. First up, the Salbrock Brawlers and Carnage Academy. The brawlers bash their way through to the final. There's a lot of different things happening out there. A lot of stuff's happening. And so chaos is one word that, that you could you could apply to it. But it was actually filthy habits that applied, moving through to join the brawlers for the big final. This is weeks of training coming to an end. The tension in here is one of eager anticipation as the Salbrock brawlers hope to roll over the competition to get the golden skate. The two teams got down and dirty. So much so that several Salbrock brawlers were sinbinned. After 20 minutes of sweat and swearing, the Filthy Habits won 62 to 21. We just absolutely nailed it and I'm so stoked for my team, so excited that we won and really, really looking forward to the season now. Coming second certainly didn't damper the Salbrock Brawlers' night. We're number two! <laughs> the girls have time to recover from the bumps and bruises with the new season starting back in September. Libby Dallison, Metro News.